Hello, I had some time between a couple classes, so I thought I'd introduce an instrument I got online. I have another instrument I'm going to be showing in a different video. This is called an Armenian Shvi. It's S-H-V-I. Pretty simple to pronounce, too. It's kind of like a penny whistle, if you will. It's tuned in A, starting with 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. And it's supposed to be, as you move up the fingers, it goes up an A major scale, but this is an incredibly out of tune instrument. Um, I created a fingering chart here, if you ever end up getting one of these, so that you can follow your own method and learn this yourself. Um, there's one note you have to actually use a half fingering, so you put your finger kind of halfway across the hole, so that you can get the G sharp, because there's no other way of doing any alternate fingerings there. Everything else just kind of follows a stepwise pattern. Another problem note is E. It tends to go very flat. So, it's not quite an E. You have to like kind of push a little bit with the air. So I'll demonstrate an A major scale, or actually I'll just do a chromatic scale. As you can see, it goes from G to A written, although it's an octave higher than um, it's written. So its lowest note is actually a G5. I'll play that on a piano right now. And its highest note goes up to A6. So I'll do a chromatic scale now. Starts sounding a little bit broken at the top part of the range too. You can hear a lot of overtones and undertones. It's not really a strict A like you might hear for a voice. So, I don't know, it's a cheap little instrument. I got it as with a uh, combo I got on. I found this on eBay. So it came with this little guy. Then I also got an Armenian uh, Duduk. I think I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's a double reed instrument. I'll go into more detail in a different video, like I said. But it's um, also pitched in the key of A. And this one's far more in tune. So if you're ever wanting to try out a new instrument, and you can only play like the recorder or something, this is a fun little instrument that goes alongside the recorder. something up. So yeah, you should um, try it out sometime if you ever have a chance. It's, um, it's a tiny little instrument. It uses a beveled um, flute mouthpiece, so you just blow into it. You don't need any special embouchure. I doubt your embouchure really has much of an effect on the pitch or the tone. Yeah, see, it doesn't really have any kind of effect. See, with um, a normal reeded instrument, if you open up your mouth a lot more or you tighten it a lot more, you'll get a brighter and darker tone. But with instruments like a recorder, you're generally not going to get that kind of a change.